please welcome Alex Rodriguez. Thank you so much. How's it going, everyone? We did it. We're here. Like a championship, like a victory lap. We are here today. I just want to start by saying that I am proud and honored to be the one to represent the progress because we all made progress. I want to start off by congratulating the UCD class of 2021. Woo! Woo! Let me hear you in your spirit. Come on, man. All the blood, sweat, and tears. For not only achieving this enormous accomplishment, graduating from one of the best top universities of the world, of the world, let that sink in. But also for maintaining resilience through a pandemic and persevering the whole academic year remotely through online courses. I would like to emphasize that we've come a long way and that we are gathered here today to celebrate the fruition of all our hard work. Those sleepless nights at Geisel, trying to finish an assignment to meet a deadline, those times we forgot to eat because we were making sure our assignments were properly finished, those times we felt like quitting because the world was falling apart and we had anxiety or depression, for those times we lost someone close to us and we had to keep our heads up and keep going. Yes, we all have come a long way. I have come a long way. I'd like to share with you how far I've come. Let me take everyone way back, way back to when I was like two years old and my mother died. And then my father abandoned me. I was born in East Los Angeles. But when my mom died, you know what I'm saying? LA in the house. <laughs> I was born in East Los Angeles. But when my mom died, uncles from my mom's side took me to Mexico, thinking they were going to receive government support for taking care of me. When that did not happen, I was kicked out to live in the streets of Durango, Mexico. I was living inside of an abandoned roofless warehouse. I didn't have shoes. I carried everything I owned inside of a backpack. I used to steal food from stores, cookies, milk. I'd come running out of the stores with that food as fast as I could. When the street lights would come on, my friends would go home, and I was just left alone. It's, it's almost like my whole childhood was erased. I learned plenty of lessons from not having any food, shelter, or love. But in 2006, when I was 14 years old, my aunt from my mom's side came to rescue me. She bought a plane ticket to bring me to the United States. And my life started to change. Even though my environment was filled with violence and danger, I was no longer homeless. And I had new clothes and new shoes. So that's pretty good. Um, I remember those new shoes. They were bands off the wall, if I can really remember. <laughs> I didn't even want to put them on. I was so scared that was the only pair of new shoes I was ever going to get. I did not know any English, and I was a freshman in high school. They used to laugh at my, they used to laugh at me for my pronunciation of words and made remarks about my humble appearance. One time, I went back crying to my aunt after school to ask her if she could buy me a dictionary in Spanish and English. When someone tells me I can't do something, it motivates me. I graduated from high school back in 2010. And then I attended a community college, but only for a semester, and then I dropped out. 
I started to hang with the wrong crowd and got involved with gangs. Although I never joined one myself, I am acquainted with the lifestyle. My beloved aunt, who was like my second mom, was disappointed in my actions. How many of us have messed up in the past or disappointed that one person that has believed in you, but you have reached the point where actions must speak louder than words for them to believe in you again? Well, for me it was when I touched down inside of a jail cell for the third time. This time was different though, because I was in the county jail with real killers and real gangsters. Now I was hella scared. I called my aunt colleague from jail. She accepted the charges just to ask me, tu tambien, you too? Her voice sounded so helped, and then she hung up. Her voice sounded so helplessly disappointed that it instantly shot in my heart. And I told myself when I was in jail that I was going to go to community college for her. I also told all my friends about going back to community college, and they all laughed. I felt stupid. No one I knew ever done it. I thought maybe they were right. I was wasting my time. As time, at this time, my aunt was elderly herself, took the bus every day to a nursing home where she worked as a cook for the elderly residents. That was her. She took care of people. She would say, you do good, the good will follow you. I started to get up at three in the morning to walk my aunt to the bus station where she'll get her bus to work. And instead of me going back home, where well, I would just go straight to school. I had to take three buses to get to community college. But it was worth it because I needed to be somewhere where I could focus on my grades. And when I came home at 11 p.m. at night, mom would have a left a plate of food waiting for me. I used to hate Sundays because I was stuck at home, stuck in the hood. Finally, I graduated from Rio Hondo Community College in 2018. And that same year, I was accepted to be a Trident at Muir. Woo, woo! I remember, Billy, remember feeling like I was finally doing something right with my life. That same summer before transferring, my aunt told me how proud she was of me. And then my mom also be so proud. I started UCSD and let me tell you, this has been the greatest years of my life. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's a saying in Spanish, la vida en la playa es más sabrosa. And it's true, I really do live better next to the beach. <laughs> Just to be able to walk to heaven, those wonderful sunsets at the beach during any time of the year. This is really a blessing that I will always count twice. UCSD has taken such a good care of me. I found mentors, I found support. I appreciate all the little things. Sliding my dining, uh, my ID, my dining for my dining dollars, working schoolwork at the Geisel Library, going back to, to my room, putting on some chill music to get my school my schoolwork done. UCSD never made me feel like I was abandoned, but it hasn't been all easy. Back in fall 2019, before the pandemic affected all of us, I had to deal with the loss of my aunt a few weeks before finals. And my world nearly fell apart. I remember telling Wayne, I didn't want to do school anymore. It didn't really make sense. It felt like school was easy and life was the hard part. 
But in fact, it was a very dark time for me. I mean, who keeps cutting onions around here? Because I still got something in my eye real quick. Wait up. Hold on a minute. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me, let me, let me continue with this. Um, long story short, I stuck with school, and I did not quit. Did not quit, man. I ain't never going to quit. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't quit either. That same quarter and the next following quarters, I remained strong. I received a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Although it was the toughest times I have witnessed in my life, it taught me growth as an individual. And now here we are, graduation day! Woo! Woo! <laughs> And you know what gives me goosebumps or like, it just lets me know that life has much, much greater things for me and for yourselves as well. Is that I remember being in jail and thinking about this day and praying to God to get me to this place to this day. <laughs> so I just want to congratulate all of us, and they say that we all deserve to celebrate this accomplishment to the fullest. If ever in life you feel like you cannot do it anymore, and you feel like you want to quit so bad, just think of Alex and think if I did it, you can do it too. And you can go further than I did because I did it with no tools. So make a round of applause for yourself. Cause... <laughs> woo, woo. So, just like the phoenix that rises from the ashes, become a symbol of rebirth, hope, renewal, and progress. And remember, and I want really to emphasize this, because all the things that happened in my life, I never lost my smile. Remember to use your smile to change the world, and do not let the world change your smile. Congratulations, class of 2021. We officially did it.